Yo, what it do guys and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to have a look into an amazing build of Banshee used against the Kuva Liches and the Sisters of Parvos. If you've been finding yourself backed into a corner and having trouble fighting these enemies, then look no further. Sight, without eye, wrath, without sound. Banshee is going to make your troubles disappear. But please do keep in mind that this Banshee build is quite an investment to get set up. However, it is worth it. First things first, you'll be needing to have Sephagoth subsumed to the helmet, as we will be wanting his ability Gloom, and you can replace Banshee's first ability to fit this in. Now this will provide a slow that scales on strength up to a whopping 95% movement reduction to enemies. When you pair this with Banshee's silence, enemies will enter a crowd control animation where they are holding their heads but ever so slowly. At this time, so long as you position aggressively and keep enemies within your gloom radial aura around you, enemies are at your whim and you have full control of the room. Speaking of strength, Banshee's sonar ability will also be scaling alongside, providing a huge damage boost within your build. Any thralls, hounds, liches, or even sisters that step in our way, we simply apply up to a few casts of sonar and then we pair this with a critical weapon build of your choice to blast enemies away with devastating damage. Now, as for the build itself, there are a few ways that you can modify this for your specific playstyle. So let's cover those. Duration. I feel it isn't as important as the other stats within the builds, but don't exactly ignore it. I'm mostly keeping this as close to 100% as I can because of the drain within Gloom. Otherwise, the duration provided for both Sona and the uptime for Silence is, to me, beyond acceptable. Efficiency. You're definitely going to be wanting a fair bit of this due to the casting and drain within your abilities. This is a second priority after strength in my opinion. And if you're not using things like Xenuric Focus School, Arcane Energize or large energy pads, then please consider bumping this percentage up a little bit because it will be helping you. Range. This is situational to the user. If you prefer to cover wider areas, then add more range to your build and flex out whatever mod you prefer to switch out, whether that be efficiency or duration. However, for me, I believe 100% range is a great area to leave it in. With awareness and positioning combined with crowd control and shield gating, you will find yourself playing aggressively and clearing out rooms whilst being on top of your enemies. Strength. Banshee has been known to be one of the best damage dealers within Warframe due to her scaling Sona, providing herself and her team with great DPS increases. However, Banshee lacks survival. Pouring mods into the build to bump your strength up to 270% offers the ability Gloom to max out at a 95% slow to enemies, whilst also buffing the Sona DPS output as well, like we spoke about earlier. Now, this is a no-brainer. Offense and defense at your hands make strength the more important stat to lean into. The Aura mod can always be flexed to whatever you prefer, and the same goes with the Exilus mod as well. If you have the room for Prime Shell Footed, then I would recommend taking that over Handspring as it offers better survivability. Otherwise, try to build for yourself, and whatever you find helping you, then keep it. And whatever you find yourself lacking whilst you're playing, then replace what you don't need and find your own comfort zone. As I spoke about Shield Gating previously, Rolling Guard is a good way to really help the survival of your build as well, so I would consider bringing this and keeping this as a necessity within this kit. I've been using this build for a while, and I can honestly say it speaks for itself. Although I haven't captured footage of it for you in this video, she has absolutely no issue dealing with level 5 liches or sisters and can take them down with ease. Sometimes you just need an extra cast of Sona or two. As for this build's weakness, I find being in open areas isn't healthy for you as your gloom cannot reach them and slow them down. Nor is trying to protect objectives. You won't always be able to keep everything else alive except from yourself. This build is for getting close and personal and being the only thing left standing. And with that being said, that's about it to cover within this video. Let me know how you get on with the build. And if this has helped you with your grinds, then can I remind you to consider giving the video a cheeky like or even share it with a friend. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more builds and content. But as always, I will be seeing you guys again in the next video.